So another review today that I'm doing is a book I just read over the weekend and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's a great saint book. It's by Evelyn Waugh or Evelyn Waugh, depending on how you say it, who is a, a guy, by the way. I know usually if you meet somebody named Evelyn, you're going to think that's a girl. Uh, Evelyn Waugh is one of our one of the greatest writers of the 20th century. His most famous book is Brideshead Revisited. And it's kind of a standard, like it's, it's one of those ones that every high school honors English kid had to read. Um, great book about moral decay and decadence and kind of a, you know, living a godless life and how vacuous and empty it is. Uh, Evelyn Waugh was a, was a devout Catholic who actually converted to Catholicism. And so he is considered a, a Catholic writer despite the fact that quite a bit of his life wasn't necessarily Catholic. Um, he, was a, he was a sinful man who tried his best to be a good Catholic, like all of us, and sometimes failed, and wrote about it in his books. It, uh, he, he, credit, he basically pointed to the Catholicism. He would basically say, hey, if it wasn't for the church, I'd be much worse than I am, right? Um, so, and he wrote one of the, he wrote a great biography about Edmund Campion. And so I recommend this book. It's a, it's one of the better saint books I've ever read. Uh, I've, and or not the best I've ever read, but one of the better ones that I've read. It's, you know, because he's such a great writer and he actually, there's a, a lot of great flow and poetry and great drama. If you don't know about Edmund Campion, he's, he's, he's kind of almost like a, uh, got a great story of being kind of like a, like a Zorro or a masked hero where he was a priest in England who well, he went off to he left England uh, went to seminary in Rems and and then uh, in then uh, went to Eng or, uh, to Italy and then was became a Jesuit and then was told okay we need the, the England needs priests because it's outlawed and so priests are being murdered and executed we need more priests would you go would you and so he goes to England and any priest who went to England pretty much knew there was a very good chance they were going to be a martyr. So he, you know, so he goes back to England. He's, and he spent, uh, I don't remember exactly how much time, at least a year, maybe a couple of years, roaming around England, bringing the sacraments to the people, constantly hiding and running away from the constables and the police. Um, but unfortunately, um, as you know from the title, it says, it's, the title is uh, Edmund Campion, Saint and Martyr. Kind of a spoiler, uh, we know where it's going to go. And he ends up being hanged, drawn, and quartered. Um, gratefully, the the um, Evelyn Waugh Evelyn Waugh does not go into great detail about the tortures, um, but he does. Just, you know, there's a whole last chapter. It's three sections. It's um, and the last section section is about him being about his martyrdom, and going into from when he's arrested to his his execution. So. Um, it's just enough to give you the squirms, but not enough to really gross you out. Um, but he, you know, one of my favorite saints, St. Saint Edmund Campion. And uh, so recommend it. It's, I would say, a great book for, the reading level's probably about junior high and higher, probably not ready. Fifth grade is probably not ready for it. Um, if you're a fifth grader, I would recommend you get the, the Ignatius Press, Edmund Campion. It's a really easy read. And uh, it's about third or fourth, fourth or fifth grade level. This one would be seventh grade level or higher. Um, but so if you need a good saint to read, saint book to read, check out Edmund Campion by Evelyn Waugh or Evelyn Waugh, depending on how you pronounce it. And uh, yeah, the, oh, I forgot to say, situational things, of course, torture and death. So if that's too much for you, maybe you're not ready yet. Uh, moral things, nothing, but you know, it's a Catholic book. So you're, it's, you're going to be enriched and uh, hopefully fortified by the book. Um, so, all right. So I recommend it and I hope you enjoy the book.